Hey, I'm Derek Kirk of Effectitron and CG Shortcuts. In this video, I'll show you some quick ways to up your color game and create color palette swatches and some great color tools that will help making materials go well together much easier and faster, and they'll stay in your library for use on future scenes. I've been away from my channel for some time now. We had a baby, she's the best, and I've been building a course for months that is available now. The Redshift Materials Masterclass is now available Click the link in the description below to start your deep dive into the Redshift materials. Okay, firstly, if you're like me, coming up with a nice color palette can be super difficult from scratch. That's where this website, coolers.co, has been a life changer for me. This is not a sponsor video, I just love this free to use resource. Here you can either start a generator and randomly go through nice palettes, and you can lock in colors you like and keep generating colors that go well together with that color until you have your whole palette and you can save, export, etc. One thing I find super helpful is to go to the Exploring Trending Palettes, which has a huge library of pre-made color palettes. So let me show you how to quickly take those and turn them into materials in Cinema 4D. So I'll leave the web browser open and C4D open as well. Coolers.co is awesome because it just lets you hover over the color, click it, instantly copying the hex code for you. So now inside of Cinema 4D, doesn't matter what render engine you're using, create a material, go to the diffuse or whatever color property you want to change, I'm on Redshift here, but in a minute, I'll show you a nice feature that C4D's native render has that others don't have. So in the latest 3.0.58 version of Redshift, you're gonna wanna twirl down this arrow and shift click the hex code and swatch icon so you can see both of them at once. If you actually click the color itself, the swatches are actually bugged right now and they don't work that way. It's weird. Anyway, simply hover over the color you want in cooler.o, click, that copy the hex code, so now we can paste that here. And then we just drag and drop that color down into an empty line here in this box. Check global so we have this loaded up for every future project. Then go over, click, paste, drag to your line, and repeat until you have all of your colors. To make a new swatch, simply drag below to an empty space. Now with Redshift, we can control, click, drag to make a copy of our material. And our shader graph will change to that one automatically. So we just simply have to double click the swatch you want and then repeat that. And so now we have all of our materials for every color we wanted. C4D shaders can actually be created a little faster. Once you have a palette, simply select all the swatches you want in the material, drag and drop them into the material manager, and it creates a material for each color for you automatically. So not only now do you have swatches ready to go for future projects that you've created, you also can save your material assets too. Open up the asset browser, create a category, then open that folder, just simply drag and drop any material you want in there, and so now you have access to them anytime on any project or whatever you want to help find them faster. You can also add keywords to search for them for even more speed. So pretty awesome stuff to speed up your workflow so you don't have to create color palettes from scratch every time. Having a nice library of already pre-made color palettes and swatches and materials is super helpful. Quickly grab and drop those in there so you're not repeating yourself on stuff you've already made before in the past. Really awesome. Hope that helps. See you next time.